Steelers fans, the wait is over. Get ready to dive into the news that shook the NFL this weekend. A historic turnaround is about to be unveiled. After two and a half years, the Pittsburgh Steelers have finally broken their streak. In their first game under new offensive coordinator Eddie Faulkner, something magical happened. For the first time in 59 games, the team surpassed the 400-yard mark. That's right. 59 games had passed since they achieved such a feat and guess what? It was the first game without Matt Canada as the coordinator, and they did it brilliantly. This change seems to have been the push they needed to reignite the team's fire. It was a defining moment, eagerly awaited by fans and players alike. But that's not all. Quarterback Kenny Pickett led the charge, breaking one of the NFL's longest active streaks without achieving this milestone. But wait, there's more. Tight end Pat Fryermuth shone brightly, surpassing 100 receiving yards for the first time in his career. With eight receptions, he tallied 113 yards at the moment the team surpassed 400 yards. A performance that left everyone in awe. This mid-season shift could be the turning point the Steelers needed. Breaking a streak that long is no small feat and could signify a much-needed resurgence for the team. The remarkable performances from Kenny Pickett and Pat Fryermuth underline the potential this team holds under Faulkner's new direction. However, while this game marked a significant achievement, consistency will be the key moving forward. Can the Steelers sustain this level of performance? Only time will tell if this game was a mere flash of brilliance or the start of a new era of dominance. What's your prediction? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. This midseason change might just be the catalyst for a new era of success for the Steelers. It was a much-needed win for a team hungry for victories. What's your take on this historic milestone for the Steelers? Could this turnaround signal better days ahead for the team? Share your thoughts in the comments below.